According to statistics, 90% of billionaires became wealthy through one investment or the other. While growing up, literature like Rich Dad, Poor Dad embedded the importance of investments in us and some people were able to start a business early enough based on those teachings. In Nigeria today, investment has become a norm and this has led to the rise of various fraudulent schemes promising a high reward with minimum risk in a short period of time. When investing, we are often faced with numerous, numerous options like low risk versus high risk investment, short term versus long term period investment, and even active versus passive investment. Now, when it comes to investment, two choices we are often faced with is Forex or real estate. Now, Forex versus real estate is an interesting argument that has been going on among the youth for a while now, and many of them have strong points to back up which is the better investment option. Now, a deeper dive into each of these investment options shows the disadvantages and advantages of both options. Now, for example, from time, real estate has been considered to be a formula for building wealth because it offers investors a large variety of ways they can make money from land banking to commercial real estate, residential real estate, real estate investment trusts, and even more. In comparing both, real estate seems to look like the better option because it is associated with the physical asset. But nonetheless, the financial market, which is Forex, offers a very, very good opportunity when it comes to investment. And in this video, we will be looking at both. Hi, welcome to Max TV. My name is Wally, and on this channel, we share real estate content that can help you become a better realtor, a better investor, have a general knowledge of the real estate industry, and even how to make more sales. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the notification icon so you get new videos and also subscribe, more importantly, so you can get carried along with all our real estate content. According to Investopedia, the FX market is where currencies are traded. It is the only true continuous and non-stop trading platform in the world. And these markets consist of connections made through trading terminals and computer networks. Now, people who benefit or beneficiaries of these markets are institutions, investment firms, investment banks, retail investors, and the likes. Just like real estate investment, Forex has been around for a while because since time immemorial, people have always done some sort of exchange for goods and services just to transfer value for the goods or service being purchased. But the Forex we know today is like the latest invention of what we know as exchange in the past. The fact that Forex exists solely online is enough to spook many people, especially the older generation who believe in more of what they can see, feel, and touch. Now that we've established these, let's take a deep dive and check out the differences between Forex and real estate. Starting an investment journey is never easy. However, the first roadblock you are likely to encounter is the cost of starting. People often ignore investment opportunities that require large capital to begin, and that is the case with real estate. Many people shy from real estate because they believe it's capital intensive and you have to be a millionaire, billionaire or superstar to begin investment with real estate. Forex on the other hand is the more cheaper option in terms of starting an investment. Most brokers offer a minimum of $30 deposit to begin a Forex trading investment and to a layman it's more convenient to make a payment of $30 compared to 5 million naira for a down payment for a terrace duplex or 1 million naira for a land in Ibejuleki. Something very important you should note is contrary to prevalent belief, real estate is not for the rich and famous. There are various types of real estate investments you can tap into with a little budget. Like real estate trading that you can start with just 75,000 naira. 
Now, if you're interested in real estate trading, you can go through our YouTube channel to find videos we have on real estate trading and how to go about it, or just simply go on to www.p1max.com and check what we have on real estate trading. Now, let's talk about leverage. Leverage involves or is the process of borrowing a certain amount of money you need to get started with an investment. And in real estate, except you have access to mortgage financing, you cannot acquire property that is a little or even way above your budget. Now in Forex trading, traders can trade on leverage up to 1 to 1,000. Now with this trading of up to 1 to 1,000, traders can take positions of $500 with just $50. And in the case of forex trading, the money is usually borrowed from a forex broker. So now let's discuss risk level. You see, the risk appetite of every individual varies. And real estate has been termed to be the safest investment on earth because it is a tangible asset and because it rarely depreciates. Now, real estate is also special because it fulfills one of the four basic necessities of humans which is shelter. There will always be a need for shelter and humans will always seek comfort. And as a result of that, we will continue to utilize nature's gift of land to erect buildings to secure shelter for humans. And for this reason, real estate is everlasting as there will always be need for shelter. Now the forex market, on the other hand, isn't a tangible asset like real estate Instead, it consists of candles that are always going upward and downward, indicating a bullish or a bearish market. The forex market is very, very risky compared to real estate, and there are severe risks in forex. For example, the currency fluctuation might move in tides against you that may cause you to lose money. Depending on the trading time frame, these fluctuations can happen very often and a winning trade might be at the mercy of a stop loss in less than 5 minutes. Now let's discuss expected profit. You see, the goal of any investment at all is to make profit and the higher the risk, the greater the expected profit. We have identified that Forex carries higher and greater risk than real estate. Now I think it's important that we note that Forex generates a faster return on investments. The only differentiating factor could lie in the budget and the type of investments you go for. Now let me explain. A real estate developer can accrue up to 100% returns in less than 12 months if he's able to sell out all units of a newly developed residential or commercial real estate structure. While on the other hand, it might take up to two years for a real estate trader to make the same 100% returns. While in the case of Forex, in a matter of seconds, the Forex trader can double his profits in a favorable market condition. Now, if we should consider the duration and profit, we will find out that a Forex trader, or better still, a day trader, could be smiling at his bank account at the end of the day while a scalper can take a trip to withdraw his returns just two hours all right into his trading day now depending on the type of investment a real estate investor could wait months or even years before seeing their returns on investment for example a developer might just need to wait a few months to sell out newly developed structures while real estate traders might wait for up to 12 months to be able to generate or access their ROI. Land banking investors might have to wait years for their land to appreciate and to generate their ROI. Now lastly, let's discuss liquidity. According to Investopedia, liquidity is the efficiency or ease of which an asset or security can be converted into spendable cash without affecting its original market value and now to better illustrate the liquidity problem of real estate let's imagine you have a plot of land or a building for sale how long do you think it will take to sell off this property weeks months 
or even years. Now compare that to a forex trader who can sell his positions with just a click of a button. Now we've established the fact that real estate is capital intensive compared to forex and this could be why it is illiquid in nature. Now every investment on the surface of the earth has its upsides and downsides. It's up to you to discover your risk tolerance all right, and go for the best investment that suits you. Real estate remains the best investment for building wealth and securing your future. And don't forget, real estate also offers you an opportunity to invest in a tangible asset that can stand the test of time. With a bigger budget, you can invest in commercial real estate and start reaping the fruits or benefits of a rental income. And also with real estate trading, you can tap into passive income now we've come to the end of today's video don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed watching this video hit the subscribe button if you're new to this channel and also hit the notification icon so that you get notified when we drop new videos that's it folks see you on the next episode bye for now